Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This one is in Castilla County, Colorado. It's 40 acres in Colorado. So let's take a look at this. 40 acres with a road. You can drive right up to it. Here's, here's the road right, right over here. This is like a screenshot kind of thing of the area. Let's jump into the website, RealVacantLand.com. This one's for sale by Dan. Dan, Dan Holmland here is, uh, it's got his name and his, um, his email address there. So you can get in touch with him and talk to him about this property if you want. He's asking twenty thousand five hundred dollars for this one, and you'll be you'll be dealing with Dan. He's the one that owns the property. It's for sale by owner Dan. Dan's the one to be selling the property to you. Um, so there's uh, there's a, the county ID number and yeah, Castilla County, Colorado, forty acres. The basic information about the property, right? Okay, so let's jump into the pictures. He's got a picture here. This is a a shot of the lot lines and we've got uh, some hills on one side there's a highway and then it's just it's a long rectangle shaped property it's 40 acre property it looks like there's a road on the west like a little dirt road and then on the east side is highway 159 and it crosses the highway it looks like maybe there's a ditch here um, might be a little little wash on the property uh, going just past the the crook of that hill I think it's gonna be dry most of the time but so here's uh, some views out over the area, taking a look at it. And uh, here's a aerial shot from a ways off. Here's some more shots. This looks like a Google Earth kind of shot with the road on, uh, on the, um, the west side of the property. And this is, this is inverted, so I'm getting my east-west mixed up. So on the, the east side of the property, we've got uh, the road going through the property here. So let's look at the map. Just got, got the map on here. We're taking a look at the map view. So this has the same kinds of views, but over my head up, up over here, we've got some trees where the topography starts going, some trees and bush. And then uh, it looks like it. if we zoom out, I think it, the hill's going down this way to eventually get out to some, some more ravines and a, eventually a river. So there's some crop circles here, some uh, irrigation pivot points marking out the area some mountains down here you can see there's some big mountains up here you can see from the property and uh, if we go over to map I think we get some names of them yeah Calibra Peak and this is I think the seven sisters or the seven the I forget the names of these peaks but state line peak there's just a bunch of mountain peaks going along here that you get to look at this is the southern end of the, the, the state a little bit further south you're down in New Mexico so Let's zoom back in. I think we do street view here. Yeah, okay. So let's do street view on the property. We can take a look at this. So I think we're looking north. It uh, doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure we're looking north. And uh, this is highway, Colorado Highway 159. And it just looks like you go 150 miles an hour here without any problem. <laughs> you know, nice, big, wide open road just a two-lane highway it looks like there's some little yellow flowers running along the side of the road um and then there's the hills off to the the um the east of the property and i was thinking you could see the mountains over there beyond it but maybe if you backed up some uh, and you went further out the property and looked east you could see the mountains but from here it doesn't look like you could see those mountain peaks i was hoping you could see so those are probably snow-capped mountains there maybe if you walked up these hills you'd see them So I think you're going to get uh, little bits of the, these hills here on the property, just a small piece of this on the property. You get this shelf up here on the property, and then it goes out a large, large bar, piece of it going that way. It looks like what is that? That looks like telecommunications box there. Um, let's see if we can. This is probably like AT&T special, right? So there's probably a telephone line running down the road here. I'm not sure if you'd be able to tap into that or not. Maybe get some uh, DSL internet. They might have to put some more electronics in there to get your internet hooked up off of that kind of line. So I don't know if you're actually hooking up phone lines anymore. But uh, so that was the mountain we were looking at from above. You could see that round mountain down there. You could see some mountains here to the south as well. That's probably the state line peak one we were talking about. And uh, that would be like the, the state Colorado, New Mexico state line is just before this this round looking mountain here so that would that mountain would be down in New Mexico so they give you an idea you're right by the border Colorado New Mexico border 
Is that a crack in the road or a snake? That looks like a crack. I was like, hey, there's a snake crossing the road. <laughs> that looks like a crack. So I think you could go explore these mountains, do mountain climbing further back up these mountains. It looks like all national park and uh, lots of government land to go explore. You could go backpacking and hiking and probably take your dog for a good run. I bet you there's so few people there, no one would ever notice you don't have a leash with you. You probably really wouldn't notice you don't have the dog poop picking up bags either. <laughs> it's just that kind of area. You just get away with what you want. So I could imagine some uh, some um, pronghorn running through here. I bet you there's some deer crossing here every now and then too. It just looks like good grazing country for the right animals. Um, and there's supposed to be elk in the area. A lot of people go elk hunting in this county and they get land and uh, they set up shop and they use it for a part of the year so they can use it to I think they get some better angles on uh, permits to go elk hunting when you have a place there versus just buying it from outside. You can see some, some of those uh, crop circles off in the distance. Okay, so let's get out of the street view of this one. Let's zoom out and let's look at the area some more because I think we're uh, just not too far from, let's see where we're at. Okay, it's just a map. So if we go from here, Colorado Springs is north and Denver is north. Interstate 25, I think it is, comes down through Walsenburg and um, Trinidad. And then this is over, this is just west of Trinidad and not too far off Highway 25. And then if you wanted to go skiing, you got Taos just to the south. So if you keep taking this highway south, uh, you know, we were seeing that round mountain to the south. That's not a ski mountain, but if you drive past that one, down here you got Taos and all kinds of skiing around Taos. So you're not very far from the skiing skiing of, of these mountains in here. They have some great snow and great prices and not that many people. Um, so that that could be a neat place to go too. So there's the property, 40 acres in Southern Colorado near skiing and uh, just a big wide open country. So it's on ruralvacantland.com. We've got more information about the property here. If you go to the link in the, the description below, it'll bring you back to the website and you can read all about it. So it's saying one hour from one hour from Taos Ski Valley, about an hour to the Rio Grande National Forest, 20 minutes from the Rio Grande River, beautiful views of Santa Cristo Mountains, which are just a few miles away. Um, 49 miles from San Luis State Wildlife Area. Take a, yeah, some, so some different, um, different things in the area. They're explaining things in the area. We've got, uh, there's a buy it now button. Let's see if this does the all cash or if you do a down payment or a, yeah, it's just asking for the whole thing. Okay, so $24,900 cash price plus a $499 dock fee, I think it is, or four, the 499 is probably like a deposit to go run it through title or something. And then uh, it's asking for a phone number. Just put the phone number in and Dan will start contacting you uh, about the property to fill out the paperwork. He's doing a 100% money back 90 day guarantee on this. So Dan is saying, you know, you could buy it and then go out there and look at it and get your money back if you don't like it within the first 90 days. It's my understanding of what he's saying there. That's pretty good. That's go Dan. <laughs> so here's the property. Take a look at that one. See if that's the right one for you. It's 40 acres in Castilla County, Colorado, uh, brought by Dan Hol Holmland and, um, Thank you. Thanks, Dan, for bringing this property. Post is on ruralvacantland.com. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. And uh, if you have questions, comments, please hit them in the comments box down below. I try to answer as much of, of those as I can and stay on top of them. That's probably one of the best ways to get in touch with me or call me. My, my phone number is all over the website or call Dan. Uh, his information is on the website, too. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Again, it's Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. Until the next video, see you. Bye.